Hello everyone, and for those who missed out, Brona vs Cops. We remember AB about the billions, but uh, how is it looking these days? It's about the bills, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, vs Cops, Cops, a boxer, way taller, not a real punching power. I mean, definitely he should lose the fight, but you know what? It's Don King event. So, was this a strange one? Was this a weird one? Definitely. But, you know, when you understand this is King's event, yeah, you're like, okay, this is just normal. This is like regular stuff. So, what really happened in this matchup? Because some people are saying that Broner needs to, like, kind of call a quits. And some people say no. So, let's kind of jump in, you know, what really happened there. So, yes, people, besides Broner losing the fight and I mean looking I wouldn't really say out of shape he was completely out of shape he just really looked I wouldn't even say not motivated he just looked like he needs to be in the ring that's about it you know just need to spend 10 rounds in the ring uh, so yeah Broner gets dropped in the second round really does absolutely nothing he's not letting his hands go he's overweight he's like a 170 but besides that point that he's like overweight um and really looks like he's degrading uh, big time. I mean, when he let the hands go, there was no... This was no competition. Broner literally demonstrated in this fight, even though we can see he went down in the second round on his backside, and I think he got his front tooth uh, punched out. This wasn't even... As, it, it wasn't even close. I mean, Broner so much better it is unbelievable you when you see the fight you can just see the broner literally he could land anytime he wanted okay he was out there he was just walking around very slowly not even sleeping doing absolutely nothing but when he wanted to land he was just landing it it was literally there so um yeah the, the difference in the power and the speed it was all broner he was just not pulling the trigger and here is that um, kind of the part that, like, is it him or this is Don King event? Okay, guys, you know what I mean. You know where I'm aiming at. So this was one of the, again, the weird ones. Uh, because from one side, I thought, like, Broner looks old, you know, and he looks like he's, like, 45 and, and all that. But then I was like, you know what? Just a few years ago, he was fighting against Madonna. Okay, he get his ass whooped. But back then, he's supposed to be the guy who should take over the division, right? We remember Broner looked like this. This was the fight which kind of changed everything. He was good. He was like, you know, like a budget version of Floyd Mayweather. So yeah, and I was like, he's not that old. Because Mayweather was older than him by a few years. He cannot be 45. And I thought he cannot even be like close to 40. And this picture is like about two years old, I think. Man, he looks old. And I thought, no, 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 that this makes no sense. Because from one side, they say, you know, once you get told that, you know, that the ability goes. But when I see the hand speed, he has the hand speed. He has the punching speed. He just, in my eyes, again, guys, you know, I could be completely wrong. But when I saw the fight, he was just not pulling the trigger. And this wasn't really one of those things when you say, like, oh, you know, he was too scared from the fight. I mean, when he landed the shots, you can see the impact so much. He just choose not to follow up. Again, my perspective, okay, because there is a big, not a level difference, divisional difference, okay? And then I looked up, he's 34 years old. He's not even that old. I mean, at this moment, age 32 to age 33, uh, from physical point of view, that's like, that's the last, that's the peak after this age your testosterone starts dropping down, okay, that's, that's like the peak, so he shouldn't be that tall that he couldn't dodge the punches, but he just chooses not, he just walks around with a high guard, okay, he kind of reminds me the man Stevens, okay, just walking around absolutely sluggish, and then I pulled up, I thought, you know, who could I compare, Manny Pacquiao, okay, Manny Pacquiao, age 33, gets knocked out by Marquez, age 34, fights Brandon Rears, I remember the fight, I watched the fight, then Tim Bradley rematch, because he won the first one, but he was robbed big time, and then he fought Crystal Giri for WBO, okay, he fought Bradley for that, okay, 
at age 34, many Pacquiao was bashing people up. Okay, then he fought Mayweather, you know, lost to Mayweather, fair enough, lost to the best one. So, yeah, it was a weird fight. But regardless of that, the boxing event, as you can see it here, typical uh, Don King type of style event. Nothing really. Some kind of good guys fighting absolute nobodies. Um, he has a good cruiserweight, ex-world champion, IBF. Uh, pretty much nothing happening. And then Broner lost the fight. The fun part about him losing the fight, of course, he didn't. He did not object. After that, he went out and said, "Hey, I won the fight, whatever." But he did not object. He was just so calm in the ring. He wasn't doing any antics, nothing like that. He just walked off. You know, that's not really in a Broner's kind of, um, th that's what, not what he usually does. He was just, yeah, he really looked like he could not be bothered. Okay, guys. So from one point of view, I'm like, mm, I'm not really sure what happened here. Okay. I'm really not sure. I'm more leaning that Broner took a dive. I'm not even joking, guys. This is my, I'm not, you know, confirming. This is my belief. That's what I think he did. And then, guys, we had the return of Michael Hunter. I was kind of waiting for this fight because Hunter has been out for a long time. But guess what? This fight, Michael Hunter is returning against a big guy. So I thought, big fight against Cheney. Okay, good fight. No, this fight is a mirror match for the Broner fight. Same thing. Cheney does nothing. For all the rounds, he just walks around with a high guard and lets Hunter just do whatever he wants. Nothing is being thrown back. Of course, Hunter wins the fight. That's it. There were two fights. Um, I mean, two fights which I watched because I really was looking. This fight is literally unwatchable. It's, it's just absolute waste of time. I, this, in my eyes, was completely... I wouldn't say one said it. it was, he was completely taking a dive. That's it. And this kind of gives me that um, <laughs> a gut feeling, if you may say that, that Broner just took the dive for the bills, <laughs> you know, to pay the bills, that's about it. And Hunter, the same thing. And I kind of see Hunter maybe, don't want to say it, signing up with Don King. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So, people, I'm not confirming anything, but um, I have noticed it that Don King, he throws the bone, he gives, like, some kind of fight to the fighters, and then they signed up, and then they end up in these dodgy fights after that, where they kind of take the dives on something on that kind of side where they kind of should win. So, what can I say? Hunter is there. I have no information, it's, I'm just going my gut feeling, which just kind of states that he just had his return fight, um, then he gonna try to literally sign up Hunter, uh, and then try to do the best, sell Hunter to the biggest possible opponent, and if he loses to that, then gonna try to sell off his ranking, um, maybe speculating on some uh, betting you know, gambling on odds and uh, manipulating the odds. So yeah, uh, that's what I really see happening here. Uh, because honestly, personally, I cannot explain how Don King even have any money to even put on these fighting shows, besides uh, manipulating the bookies and stuff like that. So I think the next victim in this line could be Michael Hunter. He may just end up being hunted. <laughs> So yeah, guys, just my gut feeling, but yeah, I think, you know, from Don King's side, the show must go on. And yeah, guys, uh, well, this is what's happening in Don King's boxing world. Uh, and yeah, Mr. Zass out, till next time.